to talk to you today about some major changes in Colorado with regard to selecting the title insurance company. You know, the Division uh, of Real Estate and the Colorado Real Estate Commission have come out with a, with a new policy statement or position statement known as CP34. Uh, if you haven't seen that, you need to take a look at it. And it's a pretty good document, covers a lot of areas. Uh, but my concern is that, that it, it leaves you at the 10 yard line, doesn't take you into the end zone with all the answers you're going to need in this fairly complex analysis of who ought to pick the title company and who ought to pay. So let's see if we can get you into the end zone. My name is Richard Evans. I'm a district manager with Stewart Title Company. Becoming familiar with position statement 34 is going to be imperative for any broker uh, in the state of Colorado. Uh, it is posted on the Colorado Division of Real Estate website. Uh, a realtor is prohibited uh, from giving expert advice on topics about which they have knowledge, but which are uh, beyond their expertise. Uh, some of these topics that uh, you may know about, but which are beyond your expertise, include uh, selecting title companies. A consumer should be the one choosing the title company, and they very, very clearly say not the broker. Uh, they suggest that maybe a list should be maintained of settlement service providers. What are the other considerations? Which consumer ought to choose? Which consumer ought to pay for the title insurance? What are the, what are the rest of the rules? The uh, position statement also did not uh, give us a real procedure or practice uh, applying uh, the position statement directly to the changes in the contract. The only thing they suggested was a list. What kind of a list? How long of a list? What sort of information should be on the list? The Real Estate Commission also revised their standard contract forms uh, and put those out effective January 1 of 2013. So if you haven't seen the new contract yet, haven't had a chance to write one yet in 2013, uh, by all means, uh, take a look at Section 7 of the contract specifically, which governs selection of the title company in Colorado. Uh, section 7.1, which is what I call the old method, seller picks and seller pays. The new selection, though, is uh, 7.2. That is my buyer picks and buyer pays, as is done in, in much of the rest of the United States. Where's the favorite one? Where's the one that really ought to be in there? Maybe a 7.3 that says, the buyer's going to pick, and I'm going to have the seller pay. That's not a selection. That's not a choice here, but it is certainly one that you might want to consider. Uh, and, and again, I don't want to be here giving you legal advice, but an additional provision would probably be the way to cover that. But what we really haven't covered is what are some of the criteria that you should consider when you choose a title company. Once you and your buyer or your seller have said, I want to pick or I want to pay, you know, what's the next step to saying, how, how should I pick? Uh, for example, uh, is the title company that's being considered a title agent uh, or an owned affiliate uh, of a title insurance underwriter? Um, you're asking yourself, why does that matter? I've never asked uh, in the past. Well, it, it does matter now. And, you know, in the last few years, we've had major bankruptcies by several title companies. Um, again, knowing whether your company will be around for a while is, is, is a good question to ask. What else should a consumer consider uh, when looking uh, to, to select a title insurance company? So that, that financial strength is very important, but how do you judge it? Uh, fortunately, when you are a major underwriter, you are rated. Uh, in this industry, and there are a number of companies that provide uh, A, B, C, D ratings. Financial ability can be determined by looking at these rating companies and what they're saying. Frankly, you know, anything less than a B rating is probably something you should question. One of those things, uh, obviously, is how long has the company been in business? There's been, you know, any number of companies that, that come into the title insurance market and, and are out very shortly. So, obviously, substantial time in business, uh, very important. Uh, what's the general reputation of the title company? Of course, uh, now that is somewhat subjective, but there are, beyond rating agencies, there are other groups that uh, give their opinion about uh, title companies and their reputation in the industry. Is the title company local? Uh, does it have a bricks and mortar office? Uh, if there's a local office, you know you can always walk in there and get satisfaction if there is an issue. Of course, pricing and fees should, should also be considered as well. But here in the state of Colorado, we're very highly regulated on our fees and, and our actual title insurance rates. In fact, if you went out there and compared the rates of every title insurance company in the state of Colorado, you'll find rates and fees to be very similar. If you have the opportunity, uh, making an inquiry to the Division of Insurance here in Colorado, are there unresolved complaints against this title insurance company? Are there a number of complaints? Again, would be a red flag for you and your client. That's an objective issue. 
And then finally, what is the national reputation? Is this a national underwriter? There are only three major underwriters in, in the United States of America. Uh, a lot of, you know, take your cue from commercial folks. Uh, they don't underwrite their large projects with small underwriters. They typically go to the large ones because they want that protection. Well, we've been talking about some criteria for you and your client to consider when choosing a title company. I want to talk to you about Stewart Title Company and, and what we have to offer you and your client. Stewart Title Company is a wholly owned affiliate uh, of its underwriter. Stewart Title Guarantee Company uh, and its parent company are traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, you know, our financials are reviewed every day by the exchanges, uh, by the rating companies. Demotech has rated Stewart Title AA prime, unsurpassed with our ability uh, to pay claims and, and speaking of our uh, financial uh, strength. We've been in business since 1893. We feel very strongly about our, our time in business. Uh, we're in all 50 states, many offices in, in each state. Uh, we're in 80 countries as well. What we're really proud of is that in 2012, Forbes magazine named Stewart Title Company and its parent as one of the top 100 most trustworthy companies in America, and that's out of all companies. We were the only title company to make that list. Well, when you come down to that uh, moment uh, to make a list with your client and select a title company, uh, please feel free to contact a Stewart Title representative or office. We'll be happy to help you put that list together, and we would be happy to tell you information about Stewart Title for your client to consider when they make that final selection of the title company. Thank you.